Hi, my name's Chris, and this is my uh, my buddy Doug. We had seen on on uh, YouTube and Twitter a while ago that there were ac or accent tags going around. So we thought, well, we might be a little late, a couple of years, but we wanted to figure out a way to contribute to the collection of accents because we didn't really see anybody with Pennsylvania accents, and certainly not Pennsylvania Dutch accents. So today we wanted to do a Pennsylvania Dutch accent for you. Um, when I was a kid, my grandparents were Pennsylvania Dutch, but I never really was around them often enough to have the, the language become part of how I spoke. But my friend Doug here grew up his entire life in Pennsylvania Dutch territory, so he still retains the accent pretty well. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and I'll have a list of words for you, okay. and some more phrases I'll have you say. Okay. All right. So what is your name? Well, my name's Duck. Duck, duck, is duck, either way. And where are you from? Well, I'm from Berks County, Pennsylvania. Little Reading's a big city about an hour north of Philadelphia. And, and I, I live a little bit, well, I grew up a little bit outside of Reading, in from the northern northern part of the county. I'm near the Blue Mountains. All right, and uh, what did your parents do for a living? Well, my father, well, we grew, I grew up on a farm, but we didn't really farm farm. My father was a carpenter, and my mother, she worked in insurance. And what do you do? What do I do? I teach. Cool. All right. Now here's the list of words we're going to have you uh, say. I'll actually just have you read all Okay. So okay. I should just say these words the way I'd say them. When I read them, just say them how I say them. Yep. All right. Ant. Roof. Route. Wash. Oil. Theater. Iron. Salmon. Caramel. Fire. Water. Sure. Data. Ruin, Crayon, New Orleans, Pecan, Bose, Again, Probably, Spitting Image, Alabama, Lawyer, Coupon, Mayonnaise, Syrup, Pajamas, Caught, Naturally, Aluminum, Envelope. All right, now we have a couple of questions that okay. they want to read. So, <clears throat> question number one. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? When you throw toilet paper on a house? Who throws toilet paper on a house? I think they do it for Halloween. But toilet paper costs money. Yeah, well. I, well, I don't throw toilet paper. I don't think I knew anybody that threw toilet paper on a house. I don't think I I don't have a word for it. Throw toilet paper on a house. That sounds expensive, actually. Next. All okay. Right. Um, what is the bug that when you touch it, it curls up into a ball? Hell, I don't know. It, it's, I don't bug it curls up in a ball when you touch it. I've heard people call them uh, roly polies. Roly polies? I never heard. Sell how you cat. I I never heard that before. I what do they them. look like? Oh, they're little little brown things and like little shells on them. You poke them and roll up into a ball. No, I don't know. No, me neither. I, oh, I just okay. call them bugs. I okay. I didn't play with them much when I was a kid. Right. Well, you know, I hate the mosquitoes. They come and they stick you in the summer, <laughs> and then they take your blood, and then that itches, and then who's my grazza? Hi, I'm a ye. My, but these bugs, I don't know what you talk about, so I can't help you. So bugs in general. Yeah. All okay. right. Uh, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Why soda? What you drink? What yeah. Kids drink. Yeah. 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 You know, the Pennsylvania Dutch we drink a lot of beer, but yeah, soda. You can get soda too. Coke, Pepsi. These things, you mean? Yeah. 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 Chinchere, ale, root beer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Soda. Uh, what do you call gym shoes? Gym shoes. I what you play sports in. Mm. By those are sneakers. Then you run around. Yeah. 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 Baseball and yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah. sneakers. And uh, what do you say to address, address a group of people? Well, they say use. Hey, use. What you doing? Or hey, use where you going? Use. Y o u s. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. I never spelled it. Um, what, uh, what do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Well, that's a daddy long legger. You know, them things are in my basement, and they make webs all over the corners and in the, along the edge of the, roof, edge of the ceiling. But they're, they are, they get everywhere, them daddy long leggers. And, uh, what's the next one? I lost my place, hold on. Uh, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which groceries... Uh, wouldn't which you carry groceries at the supermarket? Why, that's a grocery cart. Yeah, I mean, we've got to do that question, too. Uh, what do you call your grandparents? Why, my grandparents, well, you call them Mama Pop, actually. But you could also say Grandpa or Grandmom. 
uh, in Pennsylvania Dutch we say gross daddy or gross mommy. But yeah, pop mom, just as simple as well. Uh, what do you call it when it uh, rains and the sun is shining? I mean, it's just, just lightly raining, but that's a shower. A shower. Now, if it rains hard, then it's a downpour. We always called it drizzle. Drizzle. Well, yeah, you can say drizzle too, but you say it's a sh- it's the shower. In Dutch, you say rara. It's just some rara. It's raining outside. But yeah, a shower, I guess. And what is the thing that you change a TV channel with? Well, that's my thumb. <laughs> well, the, the thing you hold when you do Oh, that's a clicker. Well, you could say click a remote control, or whatever. you know, my remote control at home right now has about 50 buttons and I don't know what half of them do. <laughs> just need the on button, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, that's about all I'd think, but sometimes you change a channel and you don't know what you changed it to, and then you then you don't know how to go back, and oh, yama yay, then you don't know what you're doing, and what you, it, it's a pain. And then they charge you a hundred bucks a month for this stuff, and it's a, <laughs> The remote don't work the way you want. I just need a remote that goes up, down, <laughs> and makes it louder and makes it not so loud. You know what I mean? All right. So uh, they usually have you read a passage out of a book, I think. I've seen on some of these. Okay. But I think what I'm going to do is I have a couple other words I'd like you to say because sometimes you miss miss some dialect parts when you're limited to okay. a certain list. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, how do you say house? Haas. What you live in. Yeah. That's a haas. Uh, the name Jonathan. Well, we would usually shorten and say Chani. Johnny. Johnny? Uh, no, Chani. Chani. It's more of a CH sound, the way we say those Chase. Chase make a ch sound. Chani. Chani. All right, yeah. how about bright? Bright. Bright. And yeah, it's the opposite of dark. Yeah. Yeah, bright. All right, so what do you say when there's snow on your walkway and you need to go shovel it out? Well, first I usually curse, <laughs> but then we would say I need to go make off. So you go out and you make off, you make the driveway off, you make your sidewalks off, and then when you come in, you can say, well, sh- now I made off. Or the wife could say, well, did you make off yet? And I can say, yeah, I just made off. What do you say when you turn the lights out? Well, I make the light out. If you're telling someone to do it, you say, make the light out. All right. Uh, you can do that with the television, too. You say, hey, I'll make the television out. And uh, there was another one that I forgot I wanted to ask you. Um, well, I can't answer it if you don't what know do you, what it was. What, oh. do you, what do you say when... You're out of milk. Well, I say the milk's all. Milk's all, what's that mean? Well, there's no more. It's yeah. all. All what? It's all. Oh. Why, it is this no more. All right, so I, I don't think we explained to them why. They're probably wondering why they call it Pennsylvania Dutch, because it's actually closer to German, but many people don't really know that. So do you know why they call yeah, it? Yeah, well, you know, this is a long story, but I'll try and make it short for the people out there on the Internet, you know. Uh, we were Germans that came to America in the 1700s, 1800s, and even in the late 1600s. But when we got here, of course, this was English people here. And uh, back in those days, in the English language, anybody or anything that came from German-speaking Europe, so Germany, Switzerland, Austria, even the low countries like Netherlands and Belgium and so, but that was all known as Dutch. So the English people would say, we were Dutch because we came from German-speaking regions of, of Europe, so we were the Pennsylvania Dutch. But you can also call us Pennsylvania Germans, but most people say Pennsylvania Dutch. Perfect. All right, yeah. so, so that was the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch accent tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Can I tell them a word in Dutch so they learn a phrase? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so when you say goodbye in, Ger- in Pennsylvania Dutch, or when you want to you know, say goodbye, someone's leaving or going away, then you guys say, Max good. And say, Max good. So that's not so hard to say. <laughs> so, so Max good. good.